Based on the legendary DC-9, McDonnell Douglas developed a whole range of aircraft perfectly suited to serve airlines on all sorts of route profiles. With the MD-80, 81, 82, 83, 87, 88, 90 and finally 95, which however entered service as the Boeing 717, the Mad Dog was an essential part of the single aisle aircraft fleet for many airlines all around the world, with roughly 1,200 units leaving the production line over the years. This is a real pilot's aircraft. It's basically a small airplane that's scaled up in size and it, it works. Uh, it's wires and push-pull tubes and everything else. So you are really flying the airplane compared to an Airbus where you are putting your inputs into a computer. The computer looks at it decides, yeah, that's okay, we'll allow you to do that, and then it, it flies the airplane. But here we are flying the aircraft itself. This type of aircraft is uh, completely different working on the ATR and the Airbus. Uh, this plane is in a class for itself. This is the queen, as we say. The aircraft type proved itself popular among flight crews, but also with passengers. The aircraft type was a hit. It's a DC-9, as Jesper, the captain, said. It's a fantastic little flight. Det er roligt, og det, ja, det er bare flyet. By November 2021, Europe's last MD-83 will however take its final flight and thereby ending a chapter of aviation history. The aircraft that over the past years has served Danish air transport started its journey back in 1990 and finally, after having served several European airlines, joined the DAT fleet in 2008. Since then, the aircraft has seen many unusual assignments. Crossing the um, Pacific from uh, Papua New Guinea to Fiji and then on to Tahiti on the Coca-Cola ship was a tremendous experience and we, uh, we simply uh, toured the world around the world two and a half times and for the nine months the aircraft was away we had zero technical delays not even one occasion where the aircraft wouldn't start up and go when we were ready to go and that is amazing for an airplane that's away from home base for nine months. So after 31 years of action, the grand old lady, I mean the mad dog, bows out with a final scheduled flight on November 13th.